Welcome back to another session of Today in Tonga. How you doing? All the kids are in school right now. It's really good. The girls started school. Indy and I are doing some homeschool together. Uh, the internet's a little bit cheaper now. You get more for your money, so we're doing a, lot of, a little bit of online schooling. He also loves videography, um, so a part of his schooling, he has to listen to tutorials. Yeah, video editing. I'm learning Tongan right now. Oku, oh, oku. Oh, oh no way. way. I am working. I am working. She is working. On t learning Takatonga. Takatonga? Yeah. Lea <laughs> Tonga? The Tongan language. Yeah. It's super important that we learn how to speak full Tongan. We had a couple of, a bunch of skaters here the other day, and two kids started punching each other in the face. So it was kind of funny, me trying to break it up and to, to explain everything. But it worked out good in the end. So, But I need to learn how to speak Tongan. Ashley needs to learn as well. So we're kind of at a standstill with building our house right now. Um, just kind of waiting. That's the thing about Tonga is they're always waiting for something. We've been going to the power board here, the uh, the power company, try to get telephone poles, and they were like, oh, "Okay, you know, come back on this day or whatever." We decided that I was going to be a little bit more persuasive when I went into the office, and I really just went all out and um, and just kind of shared everything we're trying to do here and that um, you know we didn't get in these polls for free we're actually buying them like everybody else but getting them to sell them to you that's the hard part he I really just, didn't give them even a time to talk I just talked well he just listened very sternly they always look very stern and serious if you say are you selling any polls and they say no we don't sell polls and then they say what do you need it for <laughs> yeah so we got Five poles. We've got five. Yeah. For yeah. a very, very reduced price. They're used, but. Yeah, 96 Tongan dollars for about 45 US. It saves us a lot of money. It saves us a lot of money in that area. Yeah. And then I have to get my floor joists. Yeah, we have all the cedar. We already paid for it before we got back to Tonga. So we have all that cedar just waiting here. Just needs to be sanded down. Well, right now, I went around looking for pulley, pulleys yesterday to try to get these telephone poles up. Um, wasn't really successful with that, so I gotta try to make up my own type of pulley system. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try to get our house up and going. And when you live like this on an island, sometimes um, as a husband and wife, you get on each other's nerves. And I say things I shouldn't. You, you can know. cut that part out, Jerry. All right, hi. So I'm gonna make my own pulley. So I got my bearing from a pulley from a car. They don't sell pulleys here in Tonga, so I'm gonna make my own. And that is my pulley shape. I'm going to cut out the circle. And I'm going to router my edge for my rope to kind of sit in. And then this is going to be routered out and resting inside so that that way, obviously, I can um, run something through so I can hook it to a tree. And then this will be mounted to the wood so that that way it all spins good to go. So we'll see. Alright, I got uh, the hole all routed out here, so this should pop right in flush. So now, I just got to cut this out circle, and then router all the way around, so that way I can um, put the rope to run around in. And then we've got ourselves a pulley. Yo, check it out. There you go. The pulley. And I'm going to attach a wire and a wire to it so I can hang it up and then the rope will go up and around this right here. And we will have a pulley. Ba -da -da.
months out. A little uh, recap of this week. I hurt my back trying to clear the bush. I haven't done it in a while, so I think that my back was just like, just gave out. I've been in a lot, a lot of pain. Was able to get great prices on some telephone poles. So this is the third attempt for me to go and try to pay for those poles. Mm -hmm. I've been there three days. You think that they would think they would want their money, but I don't need the poles for a little while, and they know that. So maybe it's just not a high priority for them at the moment. Right now, I've got to go and get a belt sander. My, it broke. I have to get some wood glue. Staples? And uh, yeah, staples for our stapler. So I can kind of fix up Ashley's kitchen a little better. Material kind of got all messed up or whatever. Um, What's that? It's just something stuck to the tire. <laughs> so my back is starting to get a little bit better. Not there yet. Still in some pain or whatever, but doing a lot better. Yeah. Just cool. What the heck? Where's my seat? supposed to help a guy, a British guy, who's a cook here. Uh, he's having a hard time building his house. And so I uh, so I offered to build it for him. I'm not gonna charge him anything. If I have all the materials, it'd probably take me three days to build the house. Um, there is power there, so I'll be able to use my normal tools. Show you what we did. Wait, wait. Day one, thanks to Zach here, he did all the work. Well, there you go. It's plumb, level, and square in Tonga. So today, my goal is to fix all the cabinets for Ashley's. It's not a lot of movement for me, which is good for my back, because I need to get it rested, because once I get these telephone poles out to the land, I'll have to have a, my back's gonna have to be really strong. A strong back. Yeah. Yeah. That's about it. Yep. All right. I wanna hit that cord button. What is that? Red dot.